So in order to solve their sleep problems, a number of people try a lot of different uh, solutions in order to get a relaxing night of sleep. So people try to get a uh, you know, more comfortable mattress, a better pillow, they try a number of apps. Where I would worry is if um, there are people who start to you know, overload on these, like they start to depend on these products in order to get sleep and they're using 10, 12, 15 different things at a time. And that's where you start to wonder, well, are you worrying about sleep a bit too much? So one of the common causes that leads to insomnia are actually these dysfunctional thoughts about sleep that perpetuate the vicious cycle of not being able to sleep well. I think what people have to realize is that sleep is a, a natural process and that by worrying about it too much, we are only making matters worse. One common misconception is that um, the only gold standard of how we measure sleep is if we uh, measure your brain activity or we use say a Fitbit for example and get an objective measure of, of how many hours you've slept and that is important but equally if not more important is how you perceive your sleep quality. Some people who have insomnia if you record their brain activity during the night they are quite indistinguishable from normal sleepers but um, what they will tell you in the morning is that they feel that they've had um, a bad night of sleep, They've, uh, been, they were awake for many hours and they don't feel well rested. What mindfulness can help us to do is to have a different relationship with our thoughts about sleep. So rather than letting them affect us, mindfulness gives us different options for how we can relate to them. We can choose to simply let them be. And by letting go of those thoughts, you'll find that you have an easier time falling asleep and in the long run, you'll have a better night of sleep as well. Hi, I'm Dr. Julian Lim. I'm Assistant Professor at the Center for Sleep and Cognition. I'll be speaking at the Singapore Mindfulness Conference on the 23rd of August, and I hope to see all of you there.